my dear students today we shall discuss brute force pattern matching algorithm let us consider a main string of length n let us also consider a pattern string of length m here we have to search the pattern string in the main string whether the pattern string is found in the main string or not here the characters are matched from the first character till the last character meaning to begin with the first character of the pattern string is matched with the first character of the main string like that from the first character we will go, we will go to the last character if the pattern string is not found at a particular position then the pattern string is shifted to the right by only one always shifting to the right happens by only one this makes the brute force pattern matching algorithm to take more time and effort because it is always shifted to the right by one so slowly it moves in the main string until the pattern is found it takes a lot of time and effort also that is why it is brute force now let us consider the following main string with length 32 so the string is Canada is a very sweet language yes I tell you Canada is one of the sweetest languages in this world next consider the pattern string language yes the length of the pattern string is 8 the length of the main string is 32 now let us see the operation of how this pattern string is found in the main string yes consider the main string now we have the pattern string here now first character of the uh, pattern string L is compared with the first character of the main string K no matching therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by one yes now L and A are compared no matching therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by one now L and N are compared no matching therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by one now again L and N different N are compared no matching therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by one now again L and A are compared no matching pattern is shifted to the right by one now L and D are compared no matching therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by one L and A are compared no matching therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by one L and blank are compared no matching therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by one L and I are compared, no matching, therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and S are compared, no matching, therefore again the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and blank are compared, no matching, therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and A are compared, no matching, therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and blank are compared, no matching, therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and V are compared, no matching, therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and E are compared, no matching, therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. Now, L and R are compared, no matching, therefore again the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and Y are compared, no matching, therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and blank are compared, again no matching, the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and S are compared, no matching, therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and W are compared, again no matching, therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and E are compared, no matching, therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and E, different E, are compared, no matching, therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and T are compared, no matching, therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. L and blank are compared, no matching, therefore the pattern is shifted to the right by 1. Now L and L are matching after a long time, the first time L and L are matching, so we compare the next characters also. A and A are matching, N and N match, G and G match. U and U also match, A and A also match, G and G also match, E and E also match. Now the pattern string language is found in the main string at the position 24. Yes, we have found the pattern string in the main string at the position 24. Operation is quite simple, quite easy. Directly we should go to the algorithm, brute force pattern matching algorithm. 
See here, in this algorithm, ms contains the main string of length n, meaning n number of characters are stored in the main string ms from 0 to n minus 1. Similarly, ps will contain the pattern string of length m, meaning ps will contain m characters from 0 to m minus 1. Now, for i is equal to 0 to n minus m, because after n minus m, n minus m, there is no possibility of pattern string, finding the pattern string, because it will become shorter. So, i, i is equal to 0 to n minus m, j is equal to 0, we initialize, because we have to start from the first character of the pattern, while j is less than m, and the character in the pattern string matches with the character of the main string, meaning, this loop continues until the characters match and still there are few characters to match. Okay, matching is happening, still there are few matches to happen, the loop continues, otherwise it comes out. Okay, J plus plus, you go to the next character of the pattern like that. If J is equal to M, see, when J is equal to M, it means all the characters are matched and hence the pattern string is found at position I. Yes, all the characters are matched, pattern string is bound at i, therefore we return the value of i. Otherwise, uh, if it is not found, we return the value minus 1. That's all. A simple algorithm, brute force pattern matching. It is a very simple, straightforward pattern matching algorithm, but only thing is it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort because always shifting happens by 1. I think this algorithm you can easily write code in any language that you want.